What is going on guys? Dar Sizzle here. This It's a beautiful morning in South Florida. There's not a drop of wind right now and we are headed offshore. We are going to be hopefully headed way offshore looking for some mahi-mahi, but we're excited, ready to get out there, so let's head out. Yes, another beautiful day here in sunny Florida. Hot as heck. What's the temperature going to be today? Like in the high 90s, but it's gonna. the humidity is so terrible, it's going to feel like at between 105 and 115 degrees. Come on! That's yeah. too much. All right, that's why we're at it early. We're gonna go out. If it's calm, we're gonna run out and look for some mahi. If yes. it's a little bumpy and we can't find a mahi or whatever, we're gonna do some bottom fishing. Yes. Those turtles are coming out. Hopefully, the, maybe the muttons are eating the turtles. Yep. And we're shallow, catch some snapper. And we haven't been out by ourselves in such a long time. We're, I'm excited. Are you yes. excited to be hanging out with your boyfriend? Just me and you, and no Frank and brothers and family and everything else? Yes, I'm very excited. Let's I don't, go. I don't think she's excited. I'm excited. Not as excited as me. I'm excited. I'm with you every day. I can't wait to be with you today. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the funnel cloud. Look at that water spout. You see the water underneath it? Dude, there's like a t water tornado over here. <laughs> you see these sometimes? I haven't really seen one in a boat very often. But it's basically a little tornado that comes down and whips up the water. That was really cool. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Wow. You can actually see the water like coming up from the ocean and spinning around this water spout. It's crazy. So we're going to stay away from that. Yeah. We have this dark cloud over us. It's actually low chances of rain today. And I think that water spout may have had something to do with how hot it is today, the humidity in the air. But uh, that was really cool to see. And I don't know if that's a good sign or a bad sign yet. It's a good sign that it missed us. <laughs> Alright, got a little kingfish in the boat. Just setting out some troll lines. It's not really what we're looking for. Yeah, first line Brian just put out. I'm driving the boat, keeping us straight. First line Brian put out. 15 seconds. Kingfish on. Just like that. Alright, now I gotta get him out of here. Finally, after we caught that kingfish, we had a little bit of a quiet, um, quiet fishing the last hour, I would say. So we just are trolling now. We've got our four lines out and we're not using our outriggers today. It's a little bit on the rough side, a little windy today. So we're dealing with sportier conditions and it's just the two of us. So, you know, we're just trying to make it work and uh, we just hooked the fish. So I'm pretty sure I know what it is. It's a bonita because uh, this is the time of year you catch bonitas and we're a little shallow so that's usually where they hang out this time of the year and they get real big and actually this morning for bait I ended up catching little baby bonitas so there is a ton of bonitas in the area oh, popped right off okay that was a, a bonita as like I thought um, but as soon as I tried to like lift up the rod and bring him in the boat he popped just like that so I wanted it for shark bait, but oh well. Let's get another one. Yeah, no big deal. Um, I'm not sure I was going to keep him anyway. You know, we're throwing a kingfish in the bananas back. That's what you get in the summer. It's not really what we're looking for. And, uh, you know, it's a little, a little choppier out here than we had hoped. So, we're, you know, doing the best we can. And uh, I guess the line's out. Killing it. Having a great time with our sizzle today. Woohoo! Thumbs up. See, she doesn't care about me. She just like the fish. There's a frigate right up here. I don't know if you guys can be able to see it, but man, he's close. And so I'm out here. I'm gonna tell you guys, frigates. You want to find these frigates? Where is he? Like right here? He's like right here. He's right here. I don't know. You probably can't see him with this lens, but he's right in front of us. Whoa! He's right on the surface. But anyway, when you see frigates, you want, you want to go over there and find him. We're getting blown up right here. Hold on. All right, so that's a frigate. And there's all kinds of fish jumping here. They're probably just bonitas, but you know, the frigates chase the bait. Yeah. The, well, actually, the mahi. Here's what happens: the mahi chase, the mahi chase the bait up, and then the frigates eat the bait. So usually, yes. there's fish underneath those birds. Yes, and those are we consider those warbirds too, and they're really cool seabird. Their their wingspan gets over 10 feet in length. They're a huge bird, and that's a male. By you can tell by the white on his on his uh, face there. But also, they can't get wet, so they got to go down real low, pick it up with their beak or their claws, 
and they can't get wet or they're gonna drown. So they're really cool. Don't they get wet? The rumor is they get a little wet. Well, I mean, like they can't like. Yeah, they, they, they the don't. Water, like, yeah, they don't swim like a duck or yeah. a seagull. They if don't they do get, that. If they get drenched in salt water, no, they can't it. fly. Right. right. But it's a really cool bird and. We never really get to see that here in Boynton Beach, so that's so cool. Yeah, and there were some little turtles too there. Some turtles, Darcy thinks there might have been a turtle hatch going by, you know, swimming out from the sand yeah. here. I got, have... a, I got a better look. It's actually seaweed under the water. All right, so seaweed and some, some fries and, and some bigger bait. But anyway, we didn't get any hits. Nope, but nothing, I guess. The point, of this, the point of the story is to teach you guys follow those frigates, all right? Yes. Sizzle, you know, we haven't caught any fish yet. Is it time for you to get a, I think you should do a little a fish dance. You guys know any fish dances? I don't do fish dances. Oh, I see. I oh, never mind. I'm seeing bait <laughs> and flyers go all over the place. We don't do fish dances. We'd all love to see a little fish dance. No, Brian is gonna do his white boy dance for you. A white boy dance? Yeah, Brian has a good dance. I can't dance because I'm don't a know white about girl. That. <laughs> Comment below if you want to see me dance. Well, here's Michael Jackson. Yeah, comment below. We'll do it. <laughs> I did a little musically video. That's oh how yeah, I'll, know. I'll show you the musical. Check out this music right here. Are you listening? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny. Pretty bad. That's <laughs> pretty bad. All right, let's get the fish. Fighting real good. Our troll. I just lost the fish. I think. Oh no, he's there. He's there. Okay, I'm getting confused here. I've got a good fish, whatever it is. Uh, but our trolling kind of went kabunk and then we didn't do very good so we ended up switching it up and now I am bottom fishing and I just hooked up to something I'm not really sure what it is now my line's coming in easy but it's a good fish it's digging and we're a little shallow and what I mean by shallow is under 100 feet so it's like 60 feet of water or pretty close to the land and I just dropped down one of the bonita that I caught this morning for bait so we're gonna find out what it is here in a second that was a juvenile mutton snapper and sure enough, look at this, man. There was a shark or something just following it up to the boat here. But I'm using a lot of weight to get down today because it's so windy. We're just drifting super, super fast. And the sharks are still finding my fish. Look at this. He's still moving. <laughs> Tax man got him. But that's not a keeper. So you know what? He ate an illegal fish. Poor little guy. He's still shaking. Look, his fins crazy that's crazy man and look how he got hooked too <laughs> crazy are you going really fast because you're afraid of sharks yeah <laughs> I think I've got a fish man nah, it's probably just fell out to wait <laughs> oh I think I lost a fish gosh floating He's floating! He's floating! No! He's running to you! He's scared of the sharks! Nah, it's gone. Let's see, he's coming up though. There's my weight. Ah, fish! Oh my gosh! Check it out! This is a legal keeper mutton snapper. We just measured him and he is just over 18 inches long. They are delicious. We just got one yesterday in that video. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Uh, but these guys are awesome, and this is the time of year to get them. They move in shallow to target um, turtles and other bait and whatnot. So this guy just ate a dead bonita. Pretty sweet. That's awesome. All right, that was the second drop. Two mutton snappers, one chopped up, and one keeper. So let's do dirt touch a charm. Shih Tzu face. <laughs> Hey, Bubba the Shih Tzu wants to say hello. <laughs> we're wrapping up our day. You can see we're back at our house now. It was too rough out there, man. We just decided to head in. It's and too hot. Um, it got hot. Very hot. And that's the, that's the conditions this time of the year. There's not a whole lot of like fish, like pelagic wise. Um, but we did have a great day. Caught some fish. And we're going to try something new tomorrow. We're going to be fishing. Yes. So make sure you, you stay tuned. Please subscribe. Hit that bell notification. And check out all our links down in the description. Merchandise and all that great stuff. So um, yeah, until our next adventure, follow, follow your dreams. dreams. And, and keep, keep on, on catching. catching. Bubba face. <laughs> Look at the water. Hold on. It's not water. What is it? It's a water spout. Ocean tornado. Water spout. Look at hooked. <laughs>